You have only got three minutes. Your masterpiece has got to go on a plate right now. Sixty seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll call time, mate. Yep. Stop. You're finished. Very close, Tom. That looks really nice. Mm. Orange brownie ten, all right. Gooey. First up is debt advisor Katie. Her calling card is her take on chicken katsu curry served with coconut rice and a spinach gourmet. I think it's good that you've had a, a bit of fun with the presentation. I think you're doing something which is, which is different. That is officially lovely. Lovely crispy coating on the chicken. Underneath the chicken is moist. Lovely flavours of soy and sesame in that spinach. And a curry sauce that's more sweet than it is hot, I find a perfect accompaniment for your crispy chicken. Thanks. Everything is cooked really nicely. Everything's seasoned very, very well. Your rice is cooked well. I love your spinach salad. It's a bit of an odd thing, I think, to have cold spinach with hot food. Mm. Nah, it's lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Very good effort. Thanks, Katie. Okay. Clever. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, that was brilliant. I was reasonably confident, but it was way better comments than I expected. I would love to go through as one of uh, John or Greg's favourites. Um, Greg particularly liked it, so I'm, I'm holding my hopes up that Greg's going to pick me. <laughs> oh, rack of lamb. Why do they do it? Honestly. I think there's some real technical challenges, getting the crust right, the meat to be cooked perfectly. Good job. Thanks. Pom fondant can be hard, quite tricky to get that, you know, really pull off that well. You're doing well. Keep your I've got to go. Look at the colour there, look. Beautiful. Come on in. Well done. Thank good. you. Well done. Good. Very good. I've made for you a herb crusted rack of lamb, uh, which is served with a pea and mint puree, a pom fondant, and a port jus. I hope you like okay. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It actually looks jolly nice. The meat is beautifully cooked. That crust is really beautifully seasoned and brings everything together. Pea puree is delicious. The fondant is well cooked. Um, the only thing that's a bit of a disaster is the, is the sauce. Hasn't had enough time to reduce it, and it's a little bit like just wine on a plate, really. But I think it adds some lovely colour, and I think it actually works really well. I think she's done an exceptional job. Oh, yeah. It's a nicely cooked dish, and I'm really pleased. I was concerned about it, and I'm really pleased it turned out. We're moving out in two minutes. On the trolley, please. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. The eggs are working. I didn't use a backpack in the end, I just sort of pushed all the air out manually and made sure the eggs were under the water so they're cooking. There, there, go, there, there, go. Good, good. Right, let's go guys, right. please go. Slowly, quietly. Come on, come on, come on, let's go, 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 go. I've got, I've just got these eggs. Let's go, mate, we've got to go, we've got to go, we've got to go. I've got one minute 13. For what? For the eggs that are pre-cooked. And then I'm going to hold them upstairs. So I said you were going to go at 20 up past, and it's now 20 to 2. I've got everything else upstairs ready to go. Well, there was a problem with the backpack machine, so now he's gone. Pass the ravioli, please. 
With fewer orders, Juanita is on track, but Billy is under yet more pressure. Billy, what can I help you with? Uh, three plates down, please. Three plates. Is that two bits of waffle on each? Is there anything else I can do? You're not really. No, it's not. It's, okay. I'm annoyed with myself. There's not enough room on there to balance the egg yolk. Billy, come on, come on, come on, come on, Billy, let's go. Juanita. Yes. You put those two bits of uh, bits of quail on. How many bits do you want each one? Uh, one breast, one leg. Okay, let's go. Potato foam, egg yolk. Let's go now, please. I need this up. Grab yours, going cold. I don't want to have to redo it. Come on, go, 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 quick. Pop that one as well. Come on. Service piece, thank you very much. Good. Start is gone. A mixture of emotions, but just really happy and yeah, very different from how I was feeling three hours ago. I'm a perfectionist, so I'd have liked to have got seven out of seven plated perfectly. I didn't, so a little bit disappointed, but yeah, hopefully it tastes really good. Seven of the restaurateurs chose Billy's southern fried quail, served with bacon waffles, potato foam, confit egg yolk, mustard maple syrup, and thyme oil. The egg white, which isn't an egg white, which is the foam, is really clever. From a presentation perspective, it's interesting and exciting. The quail is, is cooked really nicely. Um, there's just too much sweetness. I think they've just gone overboard with, with the sweetness, with the whole dish. I'm sure if he tried this back in the kitchen, he would realise that it's more a dessert than a starter. There's a lot more technique going on here than meets the eye. Someone's put a lot of work into this dish, and it's playful, and it's made me smile. Hi, Annie. Hi. <laughs> what, what are you making? Um, I'm making pan roasted venison with braised cabbage, mashed potato, glazed chestnuts, a chocolate sauce, and a lemongrass souffle with mango sorbet. Is it not dangerous to do two very tricky things, a souffle and a sorbet? Probably, but I felt so great about the first challenge that I kind of just wanted to carry on and show you what I can do in terms of technique, and hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. <laughs> Good luck, Annie. Thank you. A souffle at this stage of the competition, a good idea. It demonstrates skill, it shows adventure, it shows that you really want to push the boat out. She's just got to make sure it works. It should be serving in about four minutes, please. Okay. Okay, three. Yep. <sighs> lovely, lovely. What's got to go on there? Cabbage and sauce. You done? Yeah. Come on, Annie. Come on, Annie. I've made for you pan roasted venison with mashed potato, a braised red cabbage, glazed chestnuts, and a red wine port and chocolate sauce. Thank you. The cabbage, the venison, and the mashed together, they're beautiful. Loving all those things. But the glazed uh, chestnuts are, are sort of too caramelly, the chocolate sauce is too chocolatey and they're very des desserty. I mean, they really are that sweet. And I think she's got signs of being a really good cook. She just needs to learn to balance the flavours better. That's a cold, wintry day, yummy dish to come home to, isn't it? It's hearty, it's good. The venison is cooked very, very well. Uh, I think it's a great dish, mm. a great dish. Main course is based on the dish that my mum makes, my favourite roast dinner. I think the main course is a really big ask. Spiced lamb with cauliflower and onion, an onion and potato bhaji on the side. 
we're talking about a modern approach to Indian food using an English Sunday roast as a base. Lamb's got to be cooked very, very well. Will it be pink or will it be done all the way through as you would expect an Indian curry to be done? I think they look fantastic. I love the polish, I love the form, I love the thought. This looks fantastic. Jane's Indian-inspired Sunday roast includes braised shoulder of lamb marinated in yogurt, cumin and garam masala with cannon of lamb cooked in a red chili and kaffir lime leaf puree, onion bhajis, roasted cauliflower, pan-fried shallot, onion puree, deep-fried kaffir lime leaves and a lamb gravy. Right, this I'm really looking <laughs> forward to. Your loin of lamb is cooked beautifully and lovely and pink. Your shoulder of lamb is braised really, really well with the yogurt and the spice around the outside. You get the cauliflower sauce underneath, that's lovely. Your bhajis, they're light as you like, almost like little pillows of air flavoured with turmeric and onions and potatoes. But for me, the thing that makes this whole thing come alive are these. Little shreds of lime leaf, which are completely unexpected. I'm stealing. <laughs> Because that's great. Very clever, Jane. Thank you. Instrument development engineer Joe has cooked chicken breast. He stuffed it with a pistachio mousseline and served it with mange too and two sauces, a watercress sauce and a mango sauce. Your watercress sauce is delicious. Yeah. Love that watercress sauce. It's got the pepperiness, it's got the great texture, it's got the right colour. I think that's great. Pistachio nuts with your chicken and the watercress sauce is a really, really fine thing. The mango sauce I find a little bit weird. Uh, not in flavour, but in texture. It's, it's pureed fruit. And I feel as though I'm starting my dessert uh, halfway through my main course. I'm happy with, with, the, with the fruity mango, with the chicken, it's sort of tropical sunshine. However, I don't want two sauces together. I, that's a clash to me. 